All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML by building a cat photo app. Step 45. All right. So label elements are used to help associate a, pardon me, associate the text for an input element with the input element itself, especially for assistive technologies like screen readers. For example, opening label and then with an input uh, inside of that, which has the type of radio and then cat and then close label makes it so clicking the word cat also selects the corresponding radio button. So like right down here, when we click indoor, it doesn't do anything but highlight it. But when we put a label in it, we can click indoor or the button itself, all right? Uh, so now we're gonna nest our radio button inside a label element, all right? So we'll come up here and we're gonna check it out at uh, W3 School. So we're gonna label HTML like this and right here. And it's actually got a, quite a, well, not that much actually. Uh, so the uh, label can be used for all these kinds of elements. And then also proper use of labels within with the elements above will benefit screen readers, like we said, and users who have difficult difficulty clicking on very small regions because when a user clicks the text within the label element, it toggles the input. So both of the things that it said. So here's a tip uh, for the attribute of a label, pardon me, the for attribute of a label must be equal to the ID attribute of the related element to bind them together. A label can also be bound to an element by placing the element inside the label element. All right. So that's basically it. Uh, here's the attributes for and form, uh, but we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, so let's come over here and let's just wrap this thing up in a label. So we'll say uh, opening label and then we'll come over here at the end and we'll say closing label. All right. And now we can see when we click indoor, uh, the radio button gets selected while wow, before it was not. So let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 46 and we'll see you next time.